Hello, 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 everyone. It is Jake Baller here, and today, as you can see, I am back with another video. And we're starting off tonight's video, obviously, with some Minecraft. Now, this is a continued sort of mini series, so if you're kind of confused on how the heck we got here, Make sure you check out parts one and two. Tonight, we're in the nether trying to find some blazes. Uh, we ended up uh, sort of uh, bending the rules a little bit and finding this nether fortress. But as you can see, part one of this video is already done because there's a place right here. Um, I'm going to sort of just be whispering and soft talking throughout this video and uh, doing mine really quick. But hopefully, guys. Uh, you know, like this video, if you do like this video, give this video some love and support if you guys would like to see another part of me trying to beat Minecraft for you guys. It could be a lot of fun. Um, make sure you also comment down below anything else you guys want to see on the channel. Um, yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm just sort of running around, scared, uh, trying to, um, obviously gain enough blaze rods in order to make blaze powder, in order to make eyes of ender, in order to, uh, you know, find the end and beat the game. So, these little fire guys are going to be our, our target for this video, and uh, so far our drop rate for our blaze rods have been pretty good. You can see down there in my bottom right hand, a uh, little hot bar. I have three of them. I think I want to get around, maybe seven or eight just so i know i have enough for all the eyes we do have a couple of <laughs> very 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 lucky chests here if you don't know loot sort of spawns randomly throughout fortresses in the nether and there we have two right next to each other wow that's actually really very really lucky with the diamonds okay um we're still fairly early in this little uh run here and diamonds are definitely a hot commodity now ever since the newest Minecraft update, update, update. So traveling through the nether a little bit more, right here we find uh, exactly what we were looking for as well, the blaze spawner, 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 spawner. Now I accidentally closed myself off and they went a little quicker than I thought they were going to and I'm trying to build a path for them to uh, get out of the way but I accidentally enclosed myself with them that was kind of funny um, I'm just trying to make sure I can only focus on these blazes up here and not worry about having to get hit from behind so again just building a little uh, totem pole you could call it and a little protective barrier between me and them I now am up to five. Oh yeah block off this one too, but this guy snipes me with the little flame blast that they have. Didn't know it went that far, but uh, fairly dangerous. So just uh, waiting for them to spawn here from their spawner. I'm just uh, thwapping them, giving them a nice little sword slap in them. I got six. Uh, now if you don't know, when you break down blaze rods, they actually break into twos. So right now, technically, we have 12 of the uh, blaze powders. Um, like I said, I do want to get about maybe um, seven of them or eight of them, just so I can make sure I have enough. And uh, right there, we get our last seventh one, which is really good. Um, our uh, drop rate was really lucky. I'm very happy about that because sometimes you could... You can, you can get 20 of those guys and only get about 3 or 4 of them, so we got really lucky with that. Continuing on when looting the area, oh, I actually fell down there, uh, we have uh, another little chest here. And again, extremely lucky with the, the diamonds here. Um, my sword is also about to break, so getting that extra iron sword was also, uh, also pretty lucky. You can see our inventory hasn't changed since uh, the last time if you guys are following along in this series, which, again, if you aren't, I, I apologize. This is probably very, 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 very random for you, but we still have all the goods. Um, now, I was going to go ahead and try and scope out the rest of the area for chests, but 
as you can see, I get sniped again, and uh, I sort of have a realization that, you know what, I have all these diamonds and the blaze rods, I really don't want to die and have to respawn, so I'm just going to do the smart thing, probably, and run away, so that's what we do. Um, mission complete, the nether fortress is, at least in my eyes, completely done, now obviously we can always come back, if we need any more loot, or maybe find the rest of these, uh, nice, uh, chests that they have flying around, but we have a long way to travel back home, um, as you can see, our, uh, blocks right now, we're at, I think the x-axis is 700, I think our x to our portal is around 200, so we have a pretty long trek, uh, a ways away, but, um, yeah, so again, if you guys want to continue on with this series, make sure you guys obviously like the video, and hopefully we can keep going further and further, because right now we're, we're making really great, uh, pace to beat this game, so I would really love for you guys to see that as well, um, so I'm putting on my gold shoes, and we're gonna be making our way back. So I uh, don't really need these shoes anymore. Well, 
maybe I do for uh, when I go back uh, against the pigs, but this is going to be my loadout. I have an extra sword, some building material, a lot of food for, you know, fighting, getting health back. And we're back. Very sad. Uh, I'm just showing you this little uh, focal point area. Again, if you saw part two, you know where that area is. A little uh, pickling bastion. Now, finding the blue forest. Uh, on my original path to the fortress, there actually wasn't a blue forest spawn. So I'm just going to be looking at areas that I haven't been to yet. So over there, as I'm pointing in the game, there isn't one. So there's some area of forest down there I can go look. So I'm making my way back down to, again, the pig bastion, which, yes, we've already been through before and got a lot of loot out of it. Um, we have this little foresty area down here. As you can see, it is covered mostly by lava and a big wall. So I went down there and there was nothing. So going back up, since again, most of that area was um, covered by lava and a huge wall. I remembered something when we first spawned uh, into the nether when I first got here in episode 2. And it is these two humongous, 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 humongous craters that are right next to the portal spawn. And as you can see, the forest and the land goes a little bit further out. So I'm going to be uh, traversing throughout this area, hoping and praying to find some nice blue foresty area. Um, knowing I have a lot of building material, I, I sort of just, uh, uh, you know, fall. And uh, I'm now down in this uh, little area. Well, not so little. It's kind of just like another level to the nether, which the nether is definitely very hard to sort of go around. Now, down in that area is toward the bastion, but it actually doesn't lead to the bastion. Again, it's covered by basically the mountain that's my portal is spawned in, so there's no way I could have gotten in there without going down here. So, just trying to get a nice little view of the area. Uh, there's some forest over there, but it looks like it sort of ends, so I think going left might be, uh, might be the move. And I'm just gonna just run, basically down in that direction, because that direction looks like it sort of just ends with a, a cliff, so we are just going to run until we find a blue forest. Um, now, of course, I could just do the easy thing, maybe even the harder thing, and just finding Enderman in the upper world, but uh, it's just, it's a lot more time efficient at finding a forest than just beating all of the Endermen now instead of individually having to find them in the upper world, which could take a very long... Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> we found it. No, uh, this was actually very, very exciting to find. Of course, this could have taken me a long time to try to find, but uh, luckily, again, Minecraft is mostly luck-based. Uh, it was just right here, which is really cool. So, um, I was freaking out when I was actually playing. Very tough to um, keep in one 
spot in order to hit. Now maybe I should have made like a diamond sword with all the new diamonds that we got from my other area, but I kind of wanted to wait and sit on those. And again, just almost getting them down to like one or two hits and they keep despawning. Oh, this guy is right here. And he teleported, and he teleported in the wall. Okay, well, <laughs> again, just very annoying. So again, it took me quite some time to actually find an enderman to, to actually get. And when I actually finally did, he dropped one, which is really good. So uh, right here is an ender bowl. If you've never seen one before, this is what it looks like, and we need a lot of them. And I got a lot of them. <laughs> Your boy. Just in case. 
Um, make sure you, again, you've got 